Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we gotta check some stuff. <gasps> Never had a chance to get you some N7 new equipment back on Earth. I've arranged for the N7 Defender already to be delivered to the Normandy before supply lines get even less reliable. <gasps> Look for it next time. <laughs> it's more than just a little extra plating. Uh, I bought that. I, I'm pretty sure I just bought that armor. Pretty sure I bought it. Thanks though, Grandpa. Come on, Dad. Thanks. I'm gonna go look at it though. I do need to go check out what my armor looks like. First, I'm gonna run around and just see if anybody has anything new, and I can check to see. Everybody's kind of chilling in their spots. When they start wandering around, I know that there's like usually something to go here. Like they'll ch they'll be chatting with other people. I have formulated a psych profile for Dr. Anne Bryson. She is not used to death, but she may be quite capable under stress. Maybe? May? Commander? May? What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted on the cosmological horizon. What? <laughs> However, the holographic consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus, I am able to theorize the true nature of existence, but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay, bad question. <laughs> no, no, it's a good question. You're like, wow, I had no idea what any of that means, but I'm very, I'm happy for you, or I'm, I'm, it's like that meme where it's like, I'm sorry, I'm not reading all that. I'm either really happy for you, or I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> See if, uh, if I have anything to hear from any, in my dad, or... Or, or my girl, grandpa. I'm not used to coming in to it this way. Usually, when I need to, it'll pop. It'll pop me into here. I think stuff glows if I ever have something I need to say to somebody. Yes. What do you have for me? Look at us doing great. The absolute minimum. Don't worry. We are well on our way. Even if I don't have everything, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, proving morale, good, through that con artist doll. Oh, by concentrating on war-related problems and serious crimes, the overall security of the Citadel has improved. Hmm. I don't know if that's actually how that would work, but I don't know. Got the jet get jamming stuff. The bolus. The Elcor. The rings of loon. Sick. Oh, we're just gonna ignore all the other things that were beeping at me? Okay, I can't. I cannot be asked to uh, figure that out. I kind of do want to go. Uh, what is the word? Um, peek? Peekaboo? Spy? I want to sneak onto my campaign. No, I'm saying. Why am I saying it so bad? I want to go see if they have conversations that I can listen in on. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. Ugh. I'm not talk. I've been trapped in a house for, like, days. I'm half feral. Like, I say that, like, as a joke, but, like, truly, I don't sleep very well when I'm in a house longer than, like, three days. And I've been sleeping so poorly. So poorly. And I, I go to bed at, like, I just, I lay there, and then I'm, like, awake until, like, 4 a.m., Ugh, and it happens a lot. It doesn't help that my current medication for my knee is also... Is this not... Oh, is he it? This other one? Um, keeps me awake also. It's apparently a side effect of insomnia. So. There it was. <laughs> Hi, Dad! So a reaper goes rogue and kills one of its own. And that's what we're looking at here, right? Braxton really was onto something big. Amazing. Okay. A lot of smart people in this galaxy. I'm a lucky guy to work with so many of them. I love his voice. Hey, Shepard. I really do. I'm a voice girl. I don't mind. 
I'm happy that way. Child Quest doesn't really have anything to say usually, but I can go poke Garrus. I was curious if they'd have Leviathan things to say. So at least if I poke them, apparently they will. I can handle the Reapers that run around, or the ones that crawl, <laughs> or the ones that shuffle menacingly toward you, but it's the flying ones that give me the creeps. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Listen, dude, no, I can't do the ones that crawl or shuffle. The flying ones are fine. Uh, the teleporting ones, also not fine. At your service. Hi, ah, did you get anything? No. What is it with you and rescue uh -huh. scientists from dig sites that have been overrun by hostile I forces? I knew you'd have something to say. If you decide to help her take down the Shadow Broker, <laughs> I'm going to be jealous <laughs> and somewhat concerned. <laughs> no, you're scary. Thanks for coming by. You're scary somehow. I don't know, you became scary because the developers decided that an archaeologist could turn into an information broker and whatnot, which I don't see. I don't see the leap, but you're scary now and that's what matters. I keep thinking, I keep thinking my son is going to be over there, and then I walk in and I'm like, oh, nope. It's my future lover in a different game. Because in Veilguard, the guy who voices Javik is going to be voicing the Grey Warden, whose name starts with a D, I think, and I can't remember it because they're just titles at this point still to me. Um, but the guy who voices Javik is going to be voicing the Grey Warden, who I already thought was handsome from the, the character art way back years ago when we saw some character art, and I was like, eh? He's handsome. He is handsome. And he's uh, number one on my list right now. I, but And I'm like, I haven't really heard him speak in the game, I think, but like, I, if Javik voice actor, I'm, woo, I think we're in good hands, you know? If Leviathan is a defector, a reaper that broke away from the others, then it is also a traitor. And traitors are never to be trusted, even among the enemy. That's a good point. If they can betray their own kind, imagine what they can do to you. I mean, like, that would also indicate that the Reapers are not a monolith, you know, if this was the case. For one who claims to be an expert on my people, your Asari knows very little. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're working with a dearth of material here. Your Asari continues to question me. I'm beginning to wish her kind had never learned to talk. You could just tell her no. You could try to fight her. I think she might win. No, Javik would win, but she'd put up a good fight. But he might get stuck. Okay, toughest mission. All right. Ah. No fear. I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper <laughs> rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. <laughs> and you prefer to keep <gasps> everything at a oh, distance. Exactly. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait. Creepiest thing we found. <laughs> the Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? <laughs> I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. <laughs> the Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. Yeah. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. <laughs> I guess it depends on who. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna die because I wish. Sometimes I wish I recorded with a camera, but I'm glad I haven't because I haven't showered in like two days and my braid looks like a disaster. But <laughs> you can see my face there. I was just like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I love Talia and Garrus getting together. It's one of my favorite things. Nothing to report, Commander. I'm glad and Bryson got out safely. I just hope we find Leviathan before the Reapers Some, do. Somebody's gotta have him. Not some. If somebody's gotta have him, right? And it's not me. Tali is the next best one. Tali was actually technically my very first romance in Mass Effect. I don't know how many times I've said this. I feel like I've probably said it a lot, but maybe not. But yeah, I started out playing a guy, and I played one and two, and I like started three, and I was just like, nope. <laughs> I want to go like I literally I tried to, to be fair I tried to be an infiltrator and that mi that mission on Palavin's moon is a nightmare as a sniper in my opinion I've had people in the comments be like well actually and I'm like that's nice <laughs> you know I'm glad for you but for me it was rough <laughs> this this game Mass Effect 1 is the best one in my opinion for snipers uh, because you can get some long range stuff on some of those planetary missions right like super long range um 
but like <laughs> two and three are very much more up close and personal which i think is one of the reasons i enjoy vanguard so much because there's really nothing that like posting up as a sniper and like pot shotting from far away you can't like can't really do that and so anyway but yeah i was like nope and i went back and played as a woman for the first one to it's like a romance thing but i was romancing tally in two and i romanced i think I, yeah i romanced liara in the first one simply because i was like well i should romance somebody and i of the two she was the least egregious in my mind of her and ashley um, if I had a chance, I would have romanced Caden with him, because like, I just liked Caden in one a lot, and I feel like he would have gone along really well. It's nice, I think in three, you can romance Caden as a male shepherd, and like someday I honestly would really love to do that, where like you spend the first two games pining after him, and then you get with him in three, and it's like, oh, I feel like that would be really satisfying, you know? But also, I really want to have uh, a romance with... Um, Oh my gosh, I just forgot his name, my guy in engineering. Because he's so sweet. And I just, he's so sad about his lover. And like, I just want him to be happy. And I feel like he'd be really sweet. And like, Shepard, having a sweet person would, I think, really balance out like the stuff that Shepard, but somebody who's like known grief too. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they would just balance each other out really well where Shepard could help pull him out of his grief. And then like, he could give um, Shepard like a joy, you know? I don't know. Anyway. I'm just a savvy romantic when it comes down to it. I think it'd be really sweet. But, hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Oh, my gosh. This sound. When I read sci-fi books and they talk about, like, the sound of, like, the ship, like, you don't really notice it, but it's one of those things, like, you go to sleep, you hear it. You kind of hear, like, the vibration, kind of. And then you're, um... Oh my gosh, I just realized my jellyfish are probably dead. <laughs> but, um, you, people, when people are, who live on spaceships get out of spaceships and are like sleeping planetary side, it's like too quiet sometimes. Um, and it's disorienting, you know? You got anything to say? No? Sick. Should I poke you? Has Alenko had media training? <laughs> he just gave me the steady stare during our interview. He might have. Also, he's just a steady kind of guy, really. Unless you romance him, in which case he becomes an utter nincompoop. If another harvester keeps me from dropping you off at the target LC, so help me. I know. That's the bond. Don't let those oversized roaches push you around. <laughs> Mr. Vega, taking on a sky full of worm necks and a troop transport is like sending you against the Earth invasion armed with brass knuckles. What? You don't think I could do it? <laughs> you don't think I could do it? Listen, uh, I, that's what I said when it happened, when we tried to do the whole Leviathan thing, and they were getting dropped on by harvesters. It was like... <laughs> I was like, this poor guy's trying to fly a face of maneuvers on a shuttle. Oh, boy. Let's see. I just got a fun one. Where did I... Where? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find... What is that?! When did I get that? That looks cool. Do you want that, Garrus? That looks like something Garrus would want. What? Get plasma shotgun! When did I get that? This is gonna beep at me incessantly. Did I ever once say that I like the beeping? Because I would like to just, like, rescind that forever. I don't know the scientific measurement of a shitload, <laughs> but that seems like a shitload of harvesters. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> Where's the doggy? They put up in the Bioware store fairly recently. I'm pretty sure it was fairly recent, a couple months or whatever. The doggy, the mech doggy. I didn't realize people were so attached to it, but like a whole statue for the mech doggy. Um, and like a male shepherd like petting the mech dog. Wait, there you are. Oh my gosh! You went, is that what I was... I was trying to turn around at one point and I was getting stuck. And I got stuck on the floor. But it's because my doggy's sleeping. Oh my gosh, he just kicked his little leg like a dog when he's sleeping and he kicks his leg. <gasps> That's actually really cute. I didn't realize it could sleep. Look, it's, cha it's, like, it's like changing its colors so that you know it's not dead. All right, okay, it's cute, but I didn't know that we were that attached to it. <laughs> if my jellyfish are dead, oh, they're still alive. Let's see, I have 
almost all the ships. I have all of them over here, and I just need, I think, two more. I think that's for one, and that's for one. Ham, hamster, hammy. Squeak! I just love the fact that it's somebody saying squeak. <laughs> that's the line. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, look at my jelly. So relaxing. All right, let's check out my stuff. Oh wait, he said, was it a whole armor set? Oh, okay, this is the N7 Defender. Is this the one I just bought though? I think it is. Yeah, health, shield, ammo, whip, yeah. This is the one I bought. I know it's because somebody told me, because I was like, what? I got, I got confused earlier when it happened when I bought some of the like extra armors and they were just like handed to me. Um, it, they've done it in the, in the Legendary Edition. They've made it so that it's not just, like, gifted to any one particular person for buying, like, a specific, top, like, version of Mass Effect or whatever, or, like, having certain DLCs or, like, DLC packs or whatever. They're all just available for everybody. You just have to buy them. So, like, buy them in-game. So, anyway, this, uh, I mean, it's, it, it looked cool as a, a chest plate. Um... Do I, maybe, do I want to try, it's kind of, I don't like the helmet, I don't like this helmet, um, but other than that, I actually really like the armor set. I do love, also, I'm very excited that we get Blood Dragon in Dragon Age, I bet we're going to get this armor set in Dragon Age Veilguard, very excited for that. Oh gosh, it's like a little infiltrator in that one. This one does proper justice to her form. Gives her some beef. Mm, sure, we'll go with that one for a bit. Oh, the helmet stays off mostly in cutscenes, so. Anyway, that took way longer than I expected. It's always the problem. It's like, now I'm like, now I want to go start a mission, but it's kind of like, I'm sure people have lost interest by this point. <laughs> and it, it's weird to start a mission. Um, to me, like 20 minutes in <laughs> to a recording, but, you know. Okay, secret artifact. Do we want to maybe... Maybe we'll do a quick scan one, and then we'll start Thessia later. Oh no, that's, that's, that's Thessia's. I was thinking about, there's like another artifact I have to get. Yeah, I might find something else to do really quick. Let's try the Elcor extraction. Where are, where is the Kuna though? In the Salian Nebula. Oh, there. I was like, I was pretty sure it was close. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna say it forever, I swear they fixed that. It's in the Fontes, the Fontes system. So that was that. Is that it? Hang on. Was that was that really it? <laughs> Search for survivors. It couldn't have just been the the flotilla. Like surely, surely I can land. And find people. No? Why did you ask me for help? That's all. It was just like people on the moon. It was like they're warriors on the moon, but I was supposed to help extract civilians? I was like, I don't remember landing on Takunas. So I didn't think you would, but like. Still. That, uh, that feels a little wild. That feels a little weird. Apparently. The Cerberus ciphers are in the Kepler Verge. I don't know if I've gotten them because I'm a teeny tiny baby brain. 
And while I have about 60 hours in this save file, they're spread out across many, oh, many, many weeks, many months, many months. It's been a year, I think. Over a year, over a year I've been playing this. Oh, apparently, um, <laughs> you're gonna see this, I guess. Um, it, you get it after Thessia. You get the, because I, like, I, I, I don't see the Kepler Verge. Anyway, I know this is gonna be a weird short one, but I, I don't feel like I can start Thessia right now, so I'm gonna have to start Thessia next time. I'm so sorry, it's like a filler one where we checked in with our friends, but there wasn't quite enough checking in with friends to like make it worth the whole episode, but you know what? It's gonna be that way. I think we're good on our checklist right now. Some of these things we just can't do um, yet, so, or they we're being weirdly blocked off from being able to do them. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it, even on the filler arc. So before I go, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.